I have to say, I think Robert almost comes a lot comes with us. Deep psychosis. I haven't started watching the video yet. I'm going to respond uh, improv. The subject matter, I've looked up it in Bing video, is basically proof spiritual. Just type in a couple of words, see what comes up, and see if it's bullshit or not. The claim made by the video producer, the video creator, is absolute proof of a spiritual reality metaphysical realm. Hi there from Lombok, Indonesia, where I'm, Indonesia, where I'm traveling at the moment. A few moments later. Alright, so, in this video, in the course of the next few minutes, I am going to prove to you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that there is a non-physical world, a metaphysical realm that exists beyond the physical material world that we know. Let's see what he set up as proof. Let me ask you a question. Are you a robot? Is it within the realm of reason that you could possibly be a very complex, highly technological cyborg of some sort? Cyborg, robot, they're different things. You could argue that we're biological robots. We're made of mechanisms from the most basic building blocks of a living cell to the more complex double helix and the complex forms that can come about thanks to the double helix and continual biological evolution. So we could call ourselves a robot. Even one that is created using living uh, materials so that if a scientist were to investigate you, they would discover that in fact you are a living organism, which obviously you are. And yet, because science does not equate life with consciousness... Consciousness is a byproduct of life, but not universal to all life forms. Science might say, well, sure you're a living organism, but that does not mean that you are actually a conscious being. You could still be a robot, a cyborg. Well, isn't the idea of being a developed robot or, or a cyborg or whichever term you're confused about at the moment, isn't the point of that if we're talking about if you personally, if you're asking me a question or any number of your um, 64,000 plus viewers on this video, um, are you a robot? If you're asking that question, then we are talking about you exhibiting uh, traits that we consider to be the very least consciousness. So you are talking about conscious beings. It doesn't mean that all life has to be conscious or else no life is. Or you seem to be slightly confused on this matter. Some kind. But I'm guessing that you know that you are not a cyborg. Well, a cyborg, the clue's in the name, a cyborg is a mixture of traits, the biological and the artificial, like the Borg. The cyborgs in Star Trek The Next Generation, basically they were humans or humanoids uh, implanted with technology and put under a collective consciousness. They were cybernetic. I know that I am not a cyborg. By definition, unless you actually have technical components added to your biological self, you would not be a cyborg. Can you prove to me that you are not a robot, a machine of some kind? Well, it depends what you mean by machine. What you may consider to be mechanisms could be called a machine. You could call yourself a biological machine or a series of mechanisms, processes highly complex, which create a human being or a dog or a dolphin or whatever the case may be. And if so, how would you go about doing that? That's quite simple. You simply prove that there's a, well, a naturally developed human being. So to prove that you're not a robot, or at least probably not a robot, then we would have to say things that prove that we're related to other animals, that we're a question of biological development as opposed to manufacture, is an obvious way of telling if you are or are not a robot. The answer to the second question is that no, you cannot prove to me or to anyone else under any kind of circumstances that you are, in fact, a conscious being. You can seem to operate as a conscious being. You cannot prove that you are or are not then. But do we require the absolute to come to some interesting conclusions? Or is the manifestation that you're offering, this, uh, this video, this vlog, is that not valid? Because I don't know if you're conscious. However, you know beyond a shadow of doubt that you are a conscious being. Well, you would think you are, you consider yourself to be, do you truly know? It seems to be. It seems to be plausible. Do we have free will? Are we truly conscious in that sense, or are we simply operating in a somewhat mechanistic fashion, and so easily influenced by things out of our control? 
To some degree that is true too. Where the line is drawn is still hotly debated. And I know beyond a shadow of doubt that I am a conscious being. So he's made an assumption that he must be a conscious being. How far does he take that? To the absolute? Or simply as far as he seems to know it? And it seems to be represented as true. Have conscious awareness in this physical body. I'm here feeling the sun shining on my face, the uh, breeze flowing across my skin, seeing the ocean out there and the rocks and the bright glare of the sun in my eyes. I am having a personal, subjective experience of being a human being. You could be a brain in a vat. You could be, well, simply a question of the Descartian kind of view. I think, therefore I am. By the action of you thinking, you are. But what you're actually experiencing could all be false. You could be in a dream. You could be living in a delusion. You could be hallucinating. You could be experiencing a false reality. So, technically, you don't know that those things are truly affecting you. They appear to be, but it is still very subjective. I cannot prove that to you. I could be a cyborg as well. As I said before, what is a cyborg? Uh, short term for cybernetic organism. So to say a cyborg is a robot is a common error made by a great many people who really should know a lot better. You got one word wrong. I won't hold it against you. Deep-rooted ecology.